We start here at Newborough Forest. This is some kind of a park created in 1947. On the way through Newborough Forest, a very flat trail. No big hills or anything today. I guess those are sand dunes that have been overgrown with grass and plants because of pollution and changing climate. There's a trail. An old farm building. Newborough Forest Trail. Now we approach the forest of Newborough Forest. Although this whole field area is Newborough Forest. A lot closer to the dunes. We're walking by them, not in them. But we're in a way. Newborough Forest. Over there are some sand dunes and made bare to help restore the ecosystem. Artificially laid bare by diggers and sheep. By way of information, this forest is planted in 1947 and is continually maintained. Well, we're out of the forest and uh, walking in the dunes. Covered with grass, except for the ones that are newly laid bare. There's the forest. Off by the Newborough Forest, we're at the seacoast. Oh, looks like the tide is going out. We're headed over there by the lake house. The dunes are to our right. Crossing a footbridge over the dunes from the parking stop and rest stop. Here we are on the beach walking. You can only walk to the island at low tide. There's a gap between the island and the mainland. And there's the island at the lighthouse that we'll be walking to. We can only reach it in low tide. There's the forest to our right. The gap between the island and the forest. The beach we're walking on and the island of the lighthouse. Right prints in the sand as we walk. But it's quite sad. Poking out of the sea. To separate the mainland from the island. The sea itself is a We're walking on the island, island of the Blessed, towards the lighthouse. Dunes to our right. The island of the Blessed. Cows. An old church ruin. And the lighthouse that we're going to. A path to the lighthouse. We're on the island of the Blessed. There's the lighthouse. It's got a nice looking crag, I must say. A picturesque, picturesque approach to the lighthouse on the Isle of the Blessed. Nice wildflowers and the sea of the Isle of the Blessed with the island of the birds with 1% of British Cormorants reside. And in the distance, Snowdonia. The sky today looks quite beautiful. The clouds are strikingly nice with the blue sky. View from inside the church on the Isle of the Blessed is an ancient ruin now. I heard again. Your fault. <laughs> A river with swans by Maltrace and Anglesey. A few swans for local colour.